Hello YouTube people! So one of you have suggested me driving a rear wheel drive car, especially or all Porsche. And I got Dirt Rally full DLCs unlocked today for just 10 euros, so I couldn't resist. So I took full game for just 10 euros. Okay. And let's try this old Porsche. Let's see what it can do. By the way, Porsches are my favorite cars in Assetto Corsa. Let's see what it can do on Dirt Rally. Okay. Let's set the camera. I like this camera the best because it's kind of easiest. Easiest one to use. And I like those old Porsches better because they they kind of feel a little bit lighter, a little bit more nimble. They're not that powerful, but you don't need really that much power to have a very playful car. And I'm driving on tarmac because well, I'm very new to dirt rally, and it's way easier to drive on the on tarmac than on dirt. So that's how it that's how I'm learning starting from tarmac. And to be honest, I don't really like those dirt tracks. I'm not the biggest fan. I like tarmac better personally. Very nimble car. The front end of the car feels very light, just like on a set of Corsa. And I don't really need to tap on the brake before every corner as I do Audi Quattro S1. This is very nimble car. Very good on medium and low speeds, medium and low speed corners. But I'm afraid it's gonna be very difficult on high speed corners because it might be unstable. Wow, the tail of this car is very happy. Very happy. A little bit too happy sometimes. <laughs> but that's why this car feels so playful. Okay, Titans, 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 Titans. No, Alex, please, no, 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 no. That's my cat, my cat, Alex. I have two cats, Alex and Amy. Oh, previously I crashed on this corner with Audi. Very tricky corner. Amazing car, I love it. Oh my god, it's so much fun. Just lift off the throttle and it turns in. It's much easier to drive than Audi Quattro. At least on low and medium speeds. On bigger speeds Audi Quattro is re really stable. Feels very good. And on low speeds Audi Quattro is a little bit lazy little bit lazy. If you lose the momentum with Audi Quattro, it's very hard to turn in. Because you press on that throttle and the front just wants to slide out. And you don't have to mo don't have enough momentum to tap the brake to turn on the car. Oh, that's 
very tricky corner. It says four, but it feels like three. It's also very scary, scary part of the track. Yeah, it's very unstable on high cor high speeds. Always, always sit sideways. It's rather difficult to keep the balance with this car. Feels a little bit scary. <laughs> wow, sixth. That felt more like four. <laughs> Oh, finish, nice. Oh, so I was quicker with Audi Quattro, but I don't know. If I would need to say which car would I choose, which is the more fun, it kind of depends on the stage. If the stage is very slow, I would probably go for this Porsche because it's very nimble. But if the stage has a lot of high speed corners, I would definitely go for Audi Quattro. At high, high speeds, that Audi Quattro is just, oh my god. And I much more prefer Audi Quattro sound. So, anyway. By the way, give me suggestions. Which car next should I choose? I have all cars unlocked, as I know. Full, full DLCs. <laughs> so, okay, give me a suggestion for the next car. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.